Hey everybody, thank you for joining us on the Twin Energy Podcast. Thank you very much. What, what? Uh, I just wanted to give you guys some tips on where to find us. Uh, the main thing, well obviously you found us if you're watching this, but... Uh, you found us, thank you. We were lost for a little while. <laughs> uh, search, uh, first one is YouTube. Go on YouTube and search Twinergy, T-W-N-R-G-Y. And also do the same thing on Facebook, search Twinergy. And then also we have a Patreon account. Or first off, we have an Instagram account. Do it for the gram, y'all. Gram it up. Grammy season's Grammys. coming up. Yeah, folks. Get those grams. We're winning. Likes, comments, whatever. Uh, but yeah, search for us on Instagram. Search Twinergy. And then also Patreon. We have a Patreon account. That website is www.patreon. And it'll be a backslash TWN. RGY. And on Patreon, you'll be able to see our videos and you'll have an opportunity to contribute if you'd like. Uh, whether it's monthly or a one time contribution, there is expenses that are uh, factored into this, whether it's posting and other things of that sort. But if not, feel free to continue to watch this for free and enjoy the material that we put out. And Adam has some other information in regards to how you can find us. All right. The other things you could do to find a place to say listen to us on is go on Apple iTunes, go on that search bar, type in Twinergy, T-W-N-R-G-Y, and then our podcast will pop up. Also, the same for Spotify, just type in our Twinergy name, it'll come up, and then go on Stitcher, and it'll come up and you'll find us. And you could, you could download an app for Stitcher and Spotify yeah. on your phone. This way it makes it easy. You can get okay. there, get yeah. on the go. Yeah, if you have Apple, it's already on the phone, I believe. Yeah, you already have the Apple iTunes app on there. So you have Apple, you have Android, whatever. Whatever you have, what download, your affiliation, just whatever check side it out. you find yourself on, download Stitcher or Spotify app. Type in Twinergy and you'll find us. And once you do find us on YouTube, if you could, could subscribe, that'd be amazing. It's just as good as con- contributing financially sometimes. You can subscribe on iTunes as well. Subscribe on iTunes. Don't forget that. Leave comments, leave suggestions. We're open. Open We're for it. Open, ready for any suggestions and comments that you may have. Uh, just let us know. We'll continue to bring information about health and wellness. And just want to say thanks again for listening to us. I'm Aaron. And I'm Adam Fernandez. With the Twin Energy Podcast. Love you guys. Take care. Take care. Love you. My name is Aaron. Here with the Twin Energy Podcast. And we have... Adam Fernandez. On the camera. There we go. Uh, Today we're going to be doing a demonstration of a high-intensity interval training. Uh, One word of caution. Depending on what exercises you do, could be detrimental to any pre-existing condition you have with bad angles, bad knees, so on and so forth. So just uh, be cautious of your limitations, don't go too hard, and just do what you're capable of doing. So uh, we're just going to be doing a couple different exercises, but there are many other exercises that you can help us. We'll be doing burpees, running, and long jump, or standing long jump, but you could also do uh, a rowing machine, a elliptical, uh, uh, any other different type of cardio, uh, or any other type of cardio device that may suffice for this type of workout. But as I said, we're going to be doing burpees, running, and standing long jump. And so I'll go ahead and start it off with the first exercise. Um, what I'm going to be doing is the burpees. So burpees are basically like a push-up, and at the end you jump up in the air. So what I'll do jump up, jump up, and get is down. What's that? Nothing. Go ahead. All right. My bad. Uh, so what you'll do is do the burpees for 30 seconds, and then you'll run in place for 30 seconds. You do this five times in a row, and I'm just going to demonstrate one uh, cycle of okay. it. So let me just uh, set my watch here. Get that 30 seconds going. So all right, got it on 30 seconds. So here I go. Jump in the air, go down. Oh, like I said, do a little push up. Take your feet back, jump up. You just kind of continue to do it. It's a good way to get your heart rate up, burn some calories. Keep it up, keep it up. <laughs> One more. 
Slowing down, go faster. How to proceed? <laughs> Alright, there was 30 seconds. Then what I'll do now is I'll do 30 seconds of uh, jumping jacks. Do this at your own pace. Just to kind of keep their blood flowing, get that heart rate up. You're not know, being as strenuous. Go slower. After that, you do it five times in a row. So be, be aware of it. You can even run in place, jog in place. Anything just to keep your heart rate up a little bit. Just don't want to get it too elevated. Like I said, you're going to be doing it five times in a row. And you're doing this each, so you're doing three segments of five times in a row. All right. There we go. A little winded after that one. That's just one round of five. So like I said, I'm just going to demonstrate one, but you'll do this same process five times in a row. And then after you're done, for two minutes straight, just do a little leisurely jogging in place. As I said, just keep watch here, just to keep your uh, just to keep your heart rate up. So two minutes after all five sessions. All right, now Adam's going to demonstrate the next exercise. Here we go. Hi everybody, I'm Adam Fernandez, and I'm going to get started on with my part of the HIIT high intermittent. Intensity training. High intensity interval training. Come on, man. I, I was only given papers 15 minutes ago, so can't expect me to know everything. But, you had the word before. But back to what I'm here for. Back to talk about what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and sprint for 30 seconds. Like I said, timer on my watch. Then I'm going to sprint back. And then after that, I'm going to run in place for a little bit. And I'm gonna do it once. I'm gonna ask you to do it five times. If you want to see me do it five times, what you can do is rewind it four times. <laughs> and you'll be able to watch. There it we five go. Times. We'll so, it's the original one and those four other ones. So ingenuity. This there we way, go. Keeping that heart rate up, burning fat, and uh, just be more active and athletic. So, all right, I'm gonna start. and know your capabilities before you do anything, people. Alright, let me get there. I'm gonna watch real quick. Got a timer. Got it set. So I'm gonna go now. There's a flash over there running. He's, he's wearing blue instead of red. Sorry, folks. Can't afford the red jumpsuit. He actually has a flash shirt, which he should have brought. <laughs> I think he's running home, actually. Here he is. You see him? I don't see him. He's going pretty far. And he keeps on going, and he's going home, I think. I don't think he plans on returning. Didn't think he was going to run that far. But, yeah, he keeps on going, and I think it's longer than 30 seconds. But if that's what he wanted to do, he's going to tire himself out. To be honest, all you really need to do it for is 30 seconds. Don't know if his watch was working when he did this. Or he overthought how far he needed to run, but here he comes. He's making it back. He has enough energy. Here he goes. He's, he needs to keep it up if he wants to see those jumpy jacks or running in place and jogging in place. But, yeah. I believe that was well over 30 seconds. On the way back. This is a lot longer. Well, I was... that hole on the way back, on the way there. Ran around it on the way back. Yeah, they got to in 30 seconds of running in place after he's gotten back. Did you say your watch for 30 seconds or no? All the way there. Oh, for your running now? I didn't. All right, all right. I figured it took me as long as it took me to get back. All right. I'm not sure it was going to be 30 seconds. Perfect. All right, well, well just, whoo, whoo. there we go. So, a little yeah, malfunction there, there. Keep it up. Do this five different times. That elevated heart rate, burn that fat, and get out there, enjoy the day, be active, Woo. do work. One more round, peeps. Third exercise Woo. coming right up. Hey, everybody, this is the third exercise, and uh, all together you can do intermittent training or interval intermittent. Man, now you're getting it wrong. Yeah, I'm getting it wrong. High intensity interval training, typically for 30 minutes to 60 minutes. Uh, the way ours adds up, it's about 20 some odd minutes, but before you start everything, you want to start it off with 
two to three minute jog, uh, a bike ride, something just to get your blood flowing before you start any of this. Maybe I should have said this at the beginning, but rewind. <laughs> Three minutes. Hey, here. Cart and arc oh. over here. Cart and arc over here. Your siren. Siren. So, uh, all right, this is the last exercise. What we're going to be doing, I'll be doing standing long jumps in place. And all the exercises that we like to incorporate are just things you can do without having a gym membership, at, without having to go and purchase something. So, try to keep it simple so there's no excuses while you're not doing these things. And we're not trying to sell you something. No. Just you can do this your own. You can put on your shirt. You can put on your shorts. I actually wear my U.S. Open shirt from a couple years ago. It's the U.S. Open weekend. I didn't do it on t intentionally. I'm not trying to market anything. U.S. Open, baby. No, but uh, yeah. Anyway, vans. Get your vans. Get your vans. Go to a park. Do it in your backyard. Do it in your courtyard. Just do that. Yeah, just do that. <laughs> but uh, all right, here we go. The last one is to be jumping back and forth in place. And let me get my watch set up. I'm not doing exercises. I'm Give me one moment here. One. Set it up for 30 seconds. Here I go. I'm going to do standing long jumps for 30 seconds. And here I go. Whoa. Try to do it quick. You almost jumped into the Try camera. I had to hurt yourself. But just to get your heart rate up. Okay. Get the feverish pain. Fall, try not to pull anything, like you said, know your capabilities. Where do you think your range is? Uh, four feet. I can maybe go farther, probably. It's a little generous. That was, that a, was a big one. That was a big one. I was trying to do it for speed. Huh? A little one. There we is go. that 30 now. seconds? That was 30 seconds, and now what I'll do is... Alright. The second exercise after doing... This is just one round. Just, uh... Run in place, keeping up that heart place. rate. Jog in place, slow it down if you want, depending on your capability. Or run right. really fast in place. Or do you jump in jets. Take a run in the Olympics, 2020 Olympics, baby. Sometimes I do that at work, my legs feel tired, I'll get up and walk away and then just run in place really hard, try to make my legs feel better. Look at that lactic acid, get it flowing around the body, distribute it from the legs. So it happens when you sit around all day. Yeah. Not that I this, want to. Sitting is a new smoking, people. Tell me about it. Don't be sitting. Sitting is a new cancer. Blah. Anyways, that was 30 seconds of running in place. And like we said earlier, this is one of five to do the long jump and the running in place, both 30 seconds, five times in a row. And uh, when you're done, which uh, with every set of five, you're going to want to run for two to three minutes, whether it's in place or if you want to run it for two, three minutes elsewhere. So in between each interval, or at the end of each interval, two, three minutes of running. So like we did the first set of five, and then run for two, three minutes. Second set of five exercises, two or three minutes. Third set of exercise, run two or three minutes, and at the very beginning, do a two, three minute run, just to get blood flowing. All right, and uh, as I said in the beginning, know your capabilities. And what we're going to do after this, after we're done here, we're going to discuss some of the benefits in a little bit more detail. The Just backdrop to... might be a little bit different. Yeah, it's not going to be as scenic as the beach here. Uh, and we'll have Adam's It's going to be more scenic than the beach. Yeah, there's some freaking blinds. We get a couple bikes. The bikes are there. They're still here. But they're going to be elsewhere next time. They'll so be see... behind us still. And, and yeah, I'm going to be behind it. And you can see Adam's face more in front of the camera than behind the camera. Maybe. I'm not making any promises. Make a guest appearance. Energy, baby. All right, well, thank you All right. for joining us. The high intensity interval training. This isn't goodbye. It's just we'll see you in a minute. See you in a minute. Bye. Hey, everybody. Thank you for joining us or continuing to join us here on the Twin Energy Podcast. Doing it. And just to get it straight, it's the high intensity interval training. I think both of us had intermittent fasting on our mind on the previous portion of the podcast. Hit. HIT, H-I-I-T, High Intensity Interval Training. So, uh, yeah, I just want to kind of go over it one more time, the workout regime. You, What you want to do is probably warm yourself up for about three minutes or so, whether you jog somewhere, ride your bike somewhere where you're going to do it, or just run in place, run in your house, and uh, do it for about three minutes, and then you get started. And what you'll get started with for about five minutes, you'll do 30 seconds of sprinting, 
and then you'll do 30 seconds of just kind of a light aspect of workout, whether you do jumping jacks, taking you back to elementary school, you're on that black top doing those jumping jacks. I remember that. I don't know if you remember that. Jump, I remember uh, cherry pickers. Cherry pickers. Yeah, those cherry pickers. Do a little bit of everything. Uh, but yeah, so 30 seconds of sprinting, then 30 seconds of either running in place or a light jog or uh, just doing the jumping jacks. And then do that, those two, five times, which will equal to five minutes. And then after that, you'll do a comparable workout where you do the burpees, where we just demonstrated the burpees. You burpees for 30 seconds, and then you do that light running in place, like jogging, or the jumping jacks for 30 seconds, and do that for five minutes. So it'll be five minute, five times pairing of both of those exercises. And then for the, th and then in between the first and the second, you'll do about two to three minutes of running in place, kind of something just to cool yourself down, and then you jump back into it. And then in between the second workout and the third workout, again, just a light two minute to three minute jog in place, running around, riding your bike, something that's very light just to kind of keep that heart rate up, but not get it too elevated. And then for the third part of the workout, you'll do the either something new or we got a little boring, we did the same thing where you'll do sprinting for 30 seconds and then you'll do the jump, uh, either the jumping whatever jacks, works, man. whatever works and it's your choice. So whatever you want to make it, you do that you make the decision so like i said 30 seconds of the sprinting and then 30 seconds of either running in place jumping jacks or just a, like a light light sprint light jog whatever the case may be and then after you're done with that you're going to want to do another cool down of about two to three minutes of a, a light sprint light jog whatever you want to do and it's up to you it's a great workout because it keeps your heart rate elevated and it's easy, it's no cost. You can do it in your house. You can do it in your you backyard. You don't, don't need to pay for a gym membership. No, you don't. You do it do, at home. Do it do at it. home. Make it happen. Make it happen. Or you just take the kids to the park and do it at the park while they're in the stroller, while they're playing on the playground. Just you get out a little bit. No excuses. Try to make least amount of excuses as possible. There's always a way to finagle things to where you can get your workout in and take care of your future self. But um, yeah, just go ahead. Easy, cheap, no cost to you whatsoever. Some of the other things you could do is that you hit the, if you have a gym membership, or if you have some of this equipment at home, yeah. hit the treadmill, stationary bike, or even a rowing machine. Sometimes you get all these things in like one machine. Yeah. You never know. But, uh, or in a couple machines, I don't know. But uh, with this, it also helps to helps you out with your cardiovascular benefits which help with weight loss and it stimulates uh, muscle growth yes. in muscles that you're Whoa. using swallow it up in the muscles that you're using specifically for those workouts so if you're working out your chest you're not gonna benefit your leg muscles so mm -hmm. just kind of like with like with the rows you're helping out your back your forearms and everything so it's very specific to the stimulation of which muscles that you're yeah. working out in those moments. So if you're running really fast, you're gonna help your legs and your heart because the cardiovascular. Yep. So get out there, make it happen. You wanna work out your legs, work out your legs. You wanna get bigger arms, make sure you're doing these those fast biceps, workouts that are gonna help your arms, your back, way. get that, those bat wing backs and stuff. So get out there, make it happen and just switch it up. And then it's also, like I said, Tremendous workout nonetheless. It helps even burn more calories than most other exercises. It actually burns 25 to 30% more calories than a traditional workout. It also helps to decrease your blood pressure as well as your heart rate. And it also, even hours after you finish the workout, it helps to continue to stimulate your metabolism. So if you don't know what your metabolism is, it's basically what burns calories and burns the food that you have in your system to uh, even when you're just sitting in your chair after you've done the workout so you're burning calories you're losing weight and you're doing all these good things even after the workout not all workouts can say that but the high intensity mm -hmm. interval training can, can say it. that it does it so take it from us Aaron and Adam with Twinergy or Adam and Aaron however you want to say it. Adam, yeah. Adam Aaron Aaron and Adam however you want to say it but uh, it's, it's a great workout. And what, a lot of the things that we like to 
I'd let you guys know are workouts and eating habits that are either no cost or low cost to you. So we're not, we're not telling you to go out there, spend money, make this happen, make that. Like you can just do it at home. And yeah, it's easy. Just take care of your future self and benefit your health into the uh, and your pocketbook and your pocketbook into the foreseeable future. So uh, all right, this has been our high intensity interval training podcast. Hopefully you guys learned something from this. You incorporate it. And also just one thing to take into consideration is your limitations. Like don't do anything that's going to be hurting your ankle don't or joints. Don't overextend yourself. Because this, this workout is a little bit more strenuous than most and it could hurt you if you have like ligament joint issues. So just be aware. Don't, don't test yourself too hard and too far. Just be aware of your limitations. It's not for everybody. It's yes. not, definitely not for everybody. So just as Aaron said, know your limitations. Yep. And consult your physician if need be. We're not doctors, but... There Go you. talk to yours. All right. Thank you very much. Twin Energy Podcast. I'm Aaron. And I'm Adam Fernandez. Love you guys. Take Love care. You. Have a thank good night. You.